Sickness don't find me, ain't got no open door. Sickness don't find me, ain't got no open door. Sickness don't find me, ain't got no open door. Sickness don't find me, ain't got no open door. Sickness don't find me, ain't got no open door. Sickness don't find me, ain't got no open door. Don't stand before me, looking up and down, waiting for my defenses to break down. I'm taking us pro, taking us pro, us pro. Find it on LUTG Radio Network.com. Uh -uh. Find it on LUTG Radio Network.com. Uh -uh. I want to get back to school. I want to learn everything from history to physics. I want to learn why the sky changes when it rains. I got a little look cool when I go to school. I'm checking, shopping everywhere for clothes that make you sad. LUTG Radio Network, I found got clothes that make you sad. Hey! Oh, yeah! LUTG Radio Network, I found. Everyone is loving the California Dreams Collection by Ellie. Ellie Apparel Sportswear is available at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. That's LUTGRadioNetwork.com. You receive 20% off on your Ellie Apparel. California Dreams Collection. Amen, amen, amen. All right, y'all, we up to the vocabulary word of the day. And now that I think about it, didn't the kids start school today? Today is the 26th. They're supposed to start school early. In Chicago, I think they started school today. I just didn't, I, I didn't hear like, usually you can hear like all these buses coming to a halt and you can hear kids walking up and down and hear all the noise, but I don't hear much noise. It is kind of early though. Uh, anyway, um, to God be the glory. Uh, today is Monday and today is uh, August 26, 2013. And definitely, definitely praying uh, for the school children to have uh, their new books and have their assigned, uh, have everything in order for them to uh, to learn and to be well. And uh, here's a message I just want to put out to all the folks out there that are uh, on the corners and on the streets and whatnot, doing your thing. I ain't. Hey, I ain't knocking you for doing your thing. I, I do believe that there's another way and there's a better way. So you ain't got to be looking over your shoulder and start sweating every time you see the police. Uh, but I would just ask that if you would give these kids safe passage, meaning don't be shooting while they're going to... I appreciate if you wouldn't shoot at all. But don't be shooting in the crowd where you see kids. Don't let them go to school you remember what it was like when you were growing up especially if you're my age or even a little bit younger you know what it was like you know what the 70s and the 80s was like it was rough and you were scared you were scared out of your mind sometimes we would get so scared you'd almost pee your pants because it was a common place to see a dead body on the way to school that was common place or to worry about you know am i gonna get shot today you remember how scared you were now, why would you want any other child, even your child or your buddy's child or your niece or your nephews to even go through that experience? Why would you want them to be traumatized like that? You remember how scared you were? Some people in my school were so scared, they stopped coming to school because gangbangers told them, if you go to school, I'm going to kill you. They told them, if you don't join my gang, I'm going to kill you. You remember what that was like? You remember wishing you wish you had a choice. You wish there was some way you could just say no because the only thing you really want to do is you want to go to school. And you ain't want nobody to know that you really love school. You know what I'm talking about. Let these kids go to school in peace. Let them be able to make it back and forth to school. Some of them need to go to the library to research their work. And you know good darn well when you see one of them little kids succeed, you be like, yeah, that's right, little boy. That's right, little girl. Yeah, that's right. You know you'd be proud of them. So let's make sure we can be proud of many more of them. 
Stop hanging out at the libraries knowing that, you know, don't be slinging there. Don't be slinging at their schools. Don't be shooting at them. And kids, don't be running drugs for nobody. When I was growing up, they would get the eight-year-olds to carry the drugs because they knew the eight-year-old, all they could get was juvie. And if that, if they, if it's a first offense, they don't get nothing. They just get to go home to their parents. So they would start on them young, having seven and eight-year-olds carry a package, and they would, they would give them candy, or they give them a couple dollars. Sometimes these little eight-year-olds is making more than their daddies. But that ain't right. Because what ended up happening to one of those eight-year-olds is he got a bullet to the head and was paralyzed. And here he was completely healthy. And at the age of 17, when he had been in the game for so long, he got shot. And he couldn't even feed himself. He couldn't even go pee. So I'm asking you to let them live. Let them go to school and become great. Because you know you want them to become something better. You know you don't want them to be struggling. You know you don't want them to be struggling. You know it. Alright? So be hard enough and strong enough and wise enough to let these kids live, let them breathe. Because if you don't let them breathe, no, you know what I'm saying? Somebody else that don't look like them, they ain't gonna let them breathe either. All right? All right, we got music for you coming up. Amen, amen. John 3.16, and we got a little bit of Mama Chill. Here's John 3.16, the gospel of grace. And we got some Sam Hankins that we come together. Matter of fact, we're going to do Sam Hankins right now. So let's come together. Sam Hankins, we come together.
shall believe God will save and set you free For God's beloved Son He hung upon a tree And took upon Himself The sins of you and me Humbly suffering In dreadful agony He cried, My God, why have you forsaken me? Yes, upon that tree Son's holy life, that atoning sacrifice, so you and I can cry, I'm a father, tell me why, have you so blessed me?
wanna get, get, get back to school. I wanna learn everything from history to physics. I wanna learn why the sky changes when it rains. I gotta look, look, look cool when I go to school. I'm checking, shopping everywhere for clothes that make you sad. LUTG Radio Network, I come, got clothes that make you say, hey! Oh yeah! LUTG Radio Network, I come. LE Workout Apparel. Look good while you sweat yourself to help. Many great looks for a beautiful you. Sweat in style in LE Apparel at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Sweat in style at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Get your LE Apparel now. All right, y'all. So about that time. Amen, amen, amen. We got the vocabulary word right here. Yes, we do. And it's uh, from the Strong's Hispanic Dictionary of Bible Words. It's uh, I'm in the Hebrew Aramaic Dictionary. Um, if you ever find yourself uh, like tongue tied, it's like some word you were able to pronounce all the time, and all of a sudden you, you're having difficulties pronouncing it. Uh, start loosening up your tongue, stretch your tongue, uh, drink some warm water, and just can, you know, look at the phonetic spelling of that word and begin to pronounce it again. Some people use like the uh, Silly Sally uh, sat on a saucer thing, or Peter Piper picked the pepper. Whatever you do, uh, keep on pronouncing that word because it's not lost from you. You just need to use it. Amen? Remember, the tongue is a muscle, and it remembers. So you, you got to exercise, exercise it by speaking the words. And here's a word for you. It's a doffy, doffy. And it's spelled D O P H I Y. The phonetic is D O F dash E E. And it means to be a stumbling block or a pushover, uh, slanderous. So do not be a stumbling block to someone. Definitely don't be a pushover. But you definitely don't want to be a stumbling block. And, um,. Remember that uh, you you're to be a blessing. You're blessed to be a blessing to people, and you're not to get into way get in the way of people's success. Meaning, um, if you see somebody on their way up, and they they've been working hard to get there, then help them to get there. Um, if they're doing it by means of hurting other people, then you're not a stumbling block. You're probably you you're wisdom for them, because what happens is when you step on people to get ahead, you will fall. You will fall. And uh, sometimes falling could be death. Sometimes falling could be incarceration. Sometimes falling can be just having the rug just pull completely up from up under you. So if you ever see a friend uh, doing something illegal that you know, it's, you know, we all know is gonna get him put in jail or something. Like for example, I wish that Jesse Jackson's friends and family had a spoke up to him and his wife. You know what I mean? Had to say, hey. You shouldn't do that. That's not right. I, I wish they had just confronted them. So, whether you have a famous friend or a non-famous friend, you see them doing something wrong, or you wonder how they're able to afford all this stuff, all of, uh, why are they giving away all these gifts? If you ever come, if you ever get a whiff of that, confront that friend. Say, "Hey, I love you. I just want to make sure you know what's going on here. If you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing, you need to correct that, fix it, pay it back." And tell the truth. All right. So, Jesus loves you, beloved, and so do I. And remember, don't be a stumbling block. Don't be a duffy. We got more music coming up for you in the altar call coming up in less than five. Here's "Listen Up" by Devon J. Remember 
Power Rangers, my Tim Morgan style. But real went around saying pow. I ain't care, could have sworn that I had powers. And in truth, if that's power, is it really ours? Count the minutes, then the hours, then the days. I'ma hustle till I see my mom chilling right in place. Dad walked out, but we ain't gonna dwell on the fact that he wasn't there. Cause I'ma live like a fat cat. Let the clock tick tock till my time come. No reason to hate, but haters, they always find one. I can teach the blind how to see through my music. Painting pictures so vividly in the acoustic. Move it, time for me to show you how it's done. Number one by the record, and you can see how it's fun. Life's just begun, I'm excited for the ride. I'ma do it while these other try. And I just talk to the people. I wanna talk to the people. Your attention, let me mention. You can tell the haters they can tell my extension. If you only knew who I was, what I've been through, you would understand why I wanted to begin new. Now I do what I was afraid of prior. Out here trying to get my name up higher. So what I aspire to do is reality. Gotta watch out because the world's coming after me. Write my name in the Guinness Book of World Records as the only king in the chess game of checkers. Rising from the ashes of a broken home Gotta show the world I'm the best So I wrote this song And I continue to try to find what ain't on the menu Call up my manager, tell her book me another venue Promise to give my music 100% into it Let me talk to the people to see how they wanna do it And I just talk to the people Another hit again. Ex girlfriend call me back, so I hit again. I'm a young on the come up. When I get rich, know the haters don't run up. From sun up to sundown, working diligently. New Santa was fake, cause I ain't have a chimney. Trying to teach Sylvan. That game taught me how to earn like Dylan. Women everywhere I go can't resist them. Funny how my ex girlfriends thought I missed them. On to the next, see me blowing on that perp. Story of a doing work. It must have hurt you to see me doing big things. Wait till I get on the TV. Yeah. And I just talk to the people. I wanna talk to the people. Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? And I just talk to the people. I wanna talk to the people. And follow you said to live with you or life away. You said that our hearts are full of darkness. You said we must be born again. You said you were sent from the Father. You said you came to seek and save the lost.
The words you said. Amen, amen, amen. That's by um Our Rock. You can get that music at rrradiomusic.com. The words you said. It's about that time, y'all, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Jesus absolutely 100% loves you. He loves you straight up. His love for you is 100% eternal. God couldn't think of a better person to love than you. Amen. Praise the Lord. And God chose you from before the foundation of the earth. He chose you. He wanted you in his kingdom. And that's just that's just real love. He wanted you in his kingdom 100. Hallelujah. So that being said, God wanted you in his kingdom. Well, hey, he loved you first. And he said, hey, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. You know, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And uh, he says, uh, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. For by grace you have been saved. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Which means you don't do anything to earn it. It's given to you for free. And you don't have to repay it. It's free. Salvation is free. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Then whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. It's really just that easy. He made a promise that he would bless you and keep you. And he would provide a way for you. Like, what promise did he make like that? Remember, whenever you name a thing, you're responsible for it. God was responsible for you because he named you. So, that being said, he sent his son to save you, to take the punishment for you, for your sins, so you wouldn't have to. So if you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sin before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved. And receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place. And from this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of jesus with the evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of christ jesus by the will of jehovah god a amen amen glory to god congratulations go to lutgradionetwork.com click on the link find the church get baptized with water baptize um take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class and let them know that you got saved on lutg radio amen and for all of you that have any issue, no matter what it is, no matter if it's one of your five senses, no matter if it's some part of your body, believe that you are healed. Moses lived 120 years and no part of his body ever got weak or failed. So if God would keep him for 120 years, so shall he keep you. You are healed and delivered. And some of you guys at an early age were... Um, you received such a gift and such a blessing that um, I think you may have taken it for granted. But either way, guess what? God is a forgiving God and he loves you. So rededicate your life to him. You know how to go to him. Just tell him, Lord, forgive me. I want to come home. I want to dwell in you, Lord. Make your abode in me.